Joined today by Sammy Walker, Iowa Wild Forward and Minnesota Wild Star. Um, how are things going so far for you guys this season? Good. Yeah, no, it's been fun. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we we wish we had more wins than, than we got right now, but um, no, it's fun. You just got to keep getting better every day. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how did you get into hockey? Like what kind of drove you towards that? Yeah, uh, very uh, uh, big hockey family. Um, two older brothers that, that played. Uh, my dad played growing up. So I was kind of just uh, born into it, I guess. Ever since I, I could walk and run, I, you know, had skates on, could put skates on. So, um, yeah, I mean, it kind of started really young, you know, whether it's mini sticks in the basement or uh, playing in, in the driveway. So, yeah. And then growing up in Edina, did you actually get to play in the state tournament or did you get to play in a Hockey Day Minnesota tournament at all? Yeah, uh, I never played in Hockey Day Minnesota, but I played uh, in the state tournament twice. It was my freshman and senior year, uh, and we we got third place both times. So that was an incredible experience. Can you tell us a little bit about your time playing with the Golden Gophers? What was that experience like? Yeah, no, I, it was awesome. Uh I loved it. Um, we had some really, really good teams there. Uh, I made it to the Frozen Four my last year. Um, but, I mean, it, it was so fun. Uh, I loved playing there. The guys were awesome. Uh, definitely some friendships that, you know, last a lifetime for sure. Did you get a chance to play with uh, Brock Faber at all? Yeah. Yeah, I played a couple years with him. So, uh, yeah, he's an awesome guy, One of one of my best buddies. So, yeah. Do you have any funny or interesting stories with you and Brock that you want to share with the fans or uh, you have to to yourself on the spot? Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to think about it, but he, he's a really funny dude. He's super nice and uh, definitely one of my favorite people for sure. You were finishing up your time at Gold or at Minnesota. Had you met with uh, Bill Guerin prior to that? Did you kind of have talks? or was kind of going to the wild something that had always kind of been on your mind growing up in Minnesota? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's always a dream, uh, you know, to play for your home city. Uh, but no, I, I, like it wasn't really on the radar until, you know, I, I left college or I graduated and, um, you know, became a free agent in, in August. Uh, but yeah, definitely a dream come true for sure. Were you able, as you grew up in Minnesota, did you attend any Minnesota Wild games? And do you have any special favorite memories from any games that you attended? Yeah, I, I was able to go to a couple for sure growing up. Um, I mean, I, I would say just like the playoff games were always more uh, memorable for sure. And when, being really young, like as a little kid, I remember more of going to the Gopher games. Um I feel like I went to more of those than, than the wild, but um, it was definitely so cool going to a wild game as a kid for sure. Did you have any favorite players that you kind of looked up to on the team? Yeah, I, I love Parisi and Gabrick was always fun to watch. Uh, um, as a little kid, I remember uh, when the goalie uh, came out and, and hit Gabrick and he did the flip. Uh, so that was probably the the biggest memory that I have uh you know when I was little yeah we've attended two games and one of my biggest memories is um watching Gilmot and dress and I don't remember the player but I think they're playing Calgary and he hit the guy so hard in the penalty box door he actually broke the hinges on the door oh man <laughs> it was it was an amazing game to see yeah I bet so speaking of the Minnesota Wild you got your call up and you hopped on the ice in Winnipeg got your first goal can you walk the fans through what do you remember? Or what was that experience like as you stepped on the ice for that ship and seeing that puck go across that goal line? Yeah, no, it, I mean, it was unbelievable. Uh, definitely um, incredible experience. I mean, I was, it, it was late in the game. So I, I hopped out and they had pulled the goalie. Um, I was just focusing on not letting them score. Uh, <laughs> we were in the D. Uh, defensive zone so just trying to play good D and it, I mean luckily it just kind of kicked out to me in in the neutral zone um, and I kind of just had a shot as I came into the blue line um, kind of pump fake the the D man he went down on a knee and I kind of just stepped around him um, 
Yeah, luckily it went in. So that was that was awesome. Now I know when uh you interviewed with Gorg, you were able to show off the puck. Where is the puck currently sitting at right now? Uh, uh actually I don't know. I, I think it's it's still at the rink. They're holding on to it, but um that yeah, that's definitely gonna be probably up at the parents' shelf at, at their house. So yeah. So as we kind of continue to talk about the locker room a little bit, kind of take us behind the scenes. Fans love behind the scenes stuff. What can you tell us about the locker room and who is the biggest joker on the Minnesota wild? The biggest joker. I don't know. I I think Reeves is, is super funny. He's a funny dude. He's always messing around and having a good time. So uh, yeah, I would say probably him. He's, he's awesome, but. No, I mean all the guys are are awesome. They're they're super nice, super welcoming. Uh, you know, for me as a new guy coming up and playing my first few games, um, so that that was really nice and just made it more like easier um, stepping in and playing. Is there anybody that's like one hundred percent dialed in on the job, focused? Don't bother me in the locker room. Oh man. Uh I don't know. I, I mean, everyone's everyone's like pretty, I don't know, super nice. And like, if you, there's not really anyone where it's like, oh, don't talk to him. He's, you know, he's in game mode. It's, I don't know. If you need something, you can, you can ask anyone. So, yeah. What's it like playing with Caprizo? Yeah, he's, I mean, he is incredible. He's, he's so good. I like, his hockey sense, his, the way he protects the puck, and just his his you know his skills like his puck handling and shooting and skating, um, yeah, it's definitely when you when you see you're going up against him in practice, it's it, you don't want to go up against him, but uh, he's so fun to watch and and glad that he's on on your side. The things that the fans want to know is other than your first Minnesota Wild goal, what is something else that is like the most memorable thing? so far in your season I mean definitely definitely my first NHL goal um but I mean st- uh my first game uh say just playing up in Vancouver that stepping on the ice doing the rookie lap and then coming home and playing my first home game in in my you know city and my state that I grew up that was that was incredible um such such a cool experience and you know something that you'll never forget. Did you have a lot of family in the building that night then? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone came and all my buddies and um, yeah, it was awesome. What's your favorite thing about Des Moines or what's your favorite place to eat in Des Moines? Ooh, I really like the, the downtown. I, I mean, it's, it's really nice in West Des Moines is, is, is awesome too. Um, but I would say probably I, I like eating at Luca. Um I eat there probably most game days. Uh, on your off nights, do you or the other teams watch the Minnesota Wild? Do you guys take notes, talk about what you're seeing on the ice, anything like that take place? Yeah, no, it's definitely, you know, you watch pretty much, you know, all their games. Um, just, you know, to see how they're doing, who, you know, I don't know. It's, it's fun to watch, um, especially because now, like, you know, at least me, like I know the guys more. Um, but you know, it's definitely, you're tuning in to uh, almost all the games, uh, when you can, for sure. You had your choice to room with any of the Minnesota wild guys on the road. Who are you rooming with? <laughs> oh man. Minnesota, I'd probably say Matt Boldy. Um, just cause, I don't know, he's more of my age and I, I feel like we're pretty tight. Um, yeah, I feel like he'd he'd be clean to it in the room, uh, but in Iowa probably Stephen Fogarty. He's he's a nice guy to room with. Just keeps it clean. You guys are on the road. Is there any AHL cities that you really look forward to visiting? And is there any special reasons why? Oh, they're all kind of cool in their own way. I mean, Milwaukee is really is a really cool city. Um, I don't know. It's it's cool. Like when you go into new cities to try to find new like restaurants and spots to go to. Um, Cause we usually get there the day before the game. So you have, um, you know, you can go see what restaurants they have and 
Uh, so that's probably the the thing that you look forward to the most other than the games. Any special warm-up songs or plays that you enjoy listening to? Before the game, I don't really look like I don't really put in headphones before. Like um I'd say probably just like I don't know. In my car on the way to the game, I I put on country music. I really like country music. Um, but not really a specific song, I guess. Just kind of a, a mixed bag. Do you have any superstitions or pre-game rituals as you're getting ready? Like one skate first or anything like that? Uh, I try not to have too many, uh, but I would say that I put on my right skate first and then I put on my left skate and then I tie my left skate first and then I tie my right. But that, that's probably the only thing that I do. Uh, if you weren't playing hockey, what would you be doing? I'd probably be... I'd probably be a pilot. I think, I think that would be a cool profession. Yeah, no, I, I've always thought that that's pretty interesting, but you just don't have enough time, I guess, as, as a hockey player. Is there any places in Iowa that you'd like to go that you haven't been to yet? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's so many spots that I haven't been to yet. Um, but yeah, maybe I just, I don't know. I just got to explore more and see see what they got. Uh, does Sammy Walker have any hidden talents that he wants fans to know about? Uh, I can play the guitar. Um, so that's a fun little hobby. Uh, any special riffs you're jamming out to? Or? Uh, just mostly country. Uh, that's kind of really all I play. Morgan Wallen, Luke Combs, just that kind of easy strumming campfire songs, I guess. Uh, any special country concerts that you have been to or would like to attend? I've been to, I've seen Luke Combs, uh, Zach Brown Band, Morgan Wallen, Eric Church, Cole Swindell, John Party. Uh, yeah, that might be it. Uh, what's the best thing about the fans? I, I think, I mean, just how supportive and like, I mean, they're awesome. They're always coming. I feel like, you know, it's, we always have good crowds. They're loud. Um, but I just, I don't know, I love how involved they are. Um, it's super fun to see, and it makes playing more fun. All right. It's shootout time. Okay. You got the game on your stick. Which NHL goalie would you love to score on or to go one-on-one -on, -one on in the shootout? NHL goalie? NHL goalie. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, for, uh... I don't know, maybe Va Vasilevsky or uh, Halibuck. Yeah. I think that's what Swain said. It was kind of interesting a couple of years ago when I – actually last year when I interviewed Beckman, he had mentioned that he'd like to go one-on-one -on -one with Flurry, and that was still back when Flurry was playing with Chicago. Yeah. Well, like, it was kind of interesting to hear his answer to that. Yeah, I don't know I don't know if I'd say Flurry because I can never score on the guy. So. <laughs> All right. Well, Sammy, I actually have two nephews that are planning to attend – your hockey camp this summer. Oh, no way. Yeah, um, up in Minneapolis. So for those that aren't familiar with it, what can you tell us about Sammy Walker's hockey camp and what can they expect as they go? Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. It's kind of everything that I would want in a camp as a kid. Um, I mean, we like, it's the on ice is in the morning, you'll have skills sessions, um, kind of working on your game and then you'll go outside and have off ice games, whether that's dodgeball or kickball, soccer, football, you name it. Um, each day is different. And then you got lunch and then you're back on the ice for competitive games and, um, yeah, just mostly games in the afternoon. And then, uh, then you'll go back out for off ice again. And that, that's usually more games or it's uh, some skills, uh, off-ice competition, off-ice skill session. Uh, in Minnesota, there's a water park uh, right by the rink uh, that we do it at. So uh, one of the days, all the kids can go and, and play at the water park. So it's, it's a fun time. Yeah. Well, I know that they are definitely looking forward to it. 
when I told them that I was going to be interviewing you, they got twice as excited. So they are <laughs> excited for it. That's awesome. So for those that want to sign up, how do they get signed up for Sammy Walker's hockey camp? Yeah, they can, uh, well, they can go on my social media uh, and there's uh, like in my bio, there's a link to uh, my website. It's just sammywalkerhockey.com. They can either just go to the website or they can go uh, click on it um, from my social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter. And then from there, it's got all the in information that the, what we do at camp and, and how to register and stuff. So uh, it kind of lays it all out there. Last question I have is what is something that you want Minnesota Wild fans or Iowa Wild fans to know about you? I mean, I, I love music. I, I love to play guitar. Um, I like singing, even though I'm not very good at it. Uh, I don't know. I just, I like hanging out with my friends uh, in the summers, go to cabins, um, get out on the lake. What advice do you have for those that either want to get into hockey or just starting to get into hockey? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be hard at first. Uh, if you want to be good at something, you got to be bad at it at first. Um, but just, I don't know, keep grinding. It's, it's so fun. I mean, it's, it's an awesome sport. So just uh, stay with it. You'll have highs and lows, uh, just like everyone, but, um, no, it's awesome. Yeah. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Sammy Walker. So, I do really appreciate you joining me today. So thank you very much. So yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks for having me on.